Name Fatima Sabarimala. Place of birth Madurai and educated place Dindigal. Degrees completed so far 10. After completing teacher training, she worked as a teacher in government schools and worked in many districts. After that, she conducted the program by inculcating the ideas of Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam among the students and poor children in the name of Kanau Kanungal, aim high, be like Kalam. Sister Fatima Sabarimala, who excelled in eloquence and poetry from the young age, participated as a speaker in the debates. Amidst many struggles thereafter, she made her own way as the first female judge. She trained students to participate in her lectures and encouraged by making them better speakers. She took in charge for the higher education of many poor students and did it effectively. It was then that NEET, the entrance exam for medical education, was launched. Anita, who had scored 1,176 marks in the class 12th public examination, committed suicide after failing to pass the NEET examination. She started a protest against NEET and resigned her government teaching job, then announced Veed Thirumba Poratam and continued to travel to many schools and colleges and met more than 5 lakh students and campaigned that suicide is not the solution. She announced the news that India continues to be the first in sexual violence and domestic violence with statistics and launched a campaign against it in schools and colleges named as Feminism is Power. She created awareness in every villages by printing one lakh notices and carrying out an awareness campaign that girls who go far without toilets in their homes are raped and killed. It is a fact that more than 90% of such rape murders have been reduced as a result. All praise to Almighty. Sister Fatima Sabarimala is also fighting for women's liberation against caste, dowry, against domestic violence, against injustices. Realize that Islam is the solution to all the cruelties. Realizing that the solution to all injustice is the philosophy of Prophet Muhammad's life of sacrifice. She has been campaigning feminism as shown by the Prophet. She is doing her doctorate of philosophy on feminism as shown by the Prophet. Atir Fatima Sabarimala, who has written various books, the first book she wrote after joining Islam, Muppatiyaru Vaidinile, is getting great response among the people. While reading the Holy Quran, after reading the lines of Did you give food to the poor? Did you encourage the mankind to give food? She cooked and served food to 50 people on every Juma day. To follow the verse, did you encourage them to give food? She uploaded these works to others through Facebook and YouTube. Through that, today, Muslim women in 21 towns are united and provide good food to hundreds of poor families every Friday. Thousands of Muslim women from all over the world have come together through a simple scheme called 50 rupees per week project. It is working very well in the name of Fasya Troon. You who are listening to this can also join hands in this. Then she is constructing a Mother Khadija Rehabilitation Center for women who may be in difficulty like abandoned by husband, abandoned by family, victims of sexual violence, along with an educational center to combine the religious education secular education and education for the next generation of girls. She has resigned her government teaching profession and building an educational institution that is going to be a good and beautiful model for the entire world, inshallah. Let's hold the hands together to participate in this constant charity. Let's take a place in heaven. May our journeys in this life be in the way of the Holy Quran that says, If anyone saves our life, It shall be as though he had saved the lives of all mankind. May it write the success in both the worlds. Amen.